Hello everybody, this is Bronislava for Handmade Rukodělky. Today's project is to knit nice thick socks. These socks are made from super bulky yarn and you can actually finish them in one day. Now you can go and knit along my video, but I also have uh, or will have uh, a, a free pattern on my blog so you can head toward my blog and look it up and uh, although this is a very simple uh, pattern you can also make it your own you could go and do little variations if you need along or if you follow my uh, written pattern on my blog uh, please share your images I would love to see your achievements first we will cast on 24 stitches and now I will knit my first row so we will knit entire row and as you know I knit continental style but you can knit English style if you knit English style then you're doing it this way right and there is actually a different faster way to do it which I really don't know how to do it but on my blog I posted a little video of uh, another lady um, which is fantastic so uh, just go ahead to my um, to my blog if you want to learn faster way to knit English style all right I knitted my first row and now I am going to uh, switch to shorter double pointed needles okay so I can uh, knit in round and um, all of you who like to knit with uh, circular needles you just go and put it on circular needles with a long cord okay long that long string between the needles and we need to knit in a round so we will go and do this Okay, like this, not twisted, not twisted. And now we will connect it into a circle here. And uh, my little trick over here where I always twist this cast on stitch and then I knit this and this together. Because otherwise we would have an extra stitch there. Okay, so that's my little trick. And now I will knit again entire row. Okay, so this is our second row. And by the way, this is a super bulky yarn. And this super bulky yarn uh, requires a size na 9 millimeter needles, but I'm knitting with 8 millimeter needles. Okay. So I finish my second row and I will knit again third row. So let's knit third row. And again, if you're knitting English style, you knit your English style, okay? Just knit entire row. Okay, so um, I'm finished with my three rows, okay? And this is going to give us like a rolled up uh, edge. And now I will knit one and purl one entire row okay and I will do ten rows where I will knit one purl one knit one purl one okay um, so uh, when I'm finished with this row I will do nine more rows of knit and purl stitches which is knit and purl ribbing, okay? Okay, and for people who knit um, English style, I just will do a demonstration of knit and purl, knit and purl, and knit. Now that I yarn, it has to be, it has to go back, okay? Knit and purl stitches. Okay, and 
just have to go back and forth with the yarn in a, you know yarn in the front for your purl stitch yarn in the back for your knit stitch it's too much work for me <laughs> so and I will continue in my continental style I'm finished with my 10 rows okay and now I will knit two more rows so now we will ju just knit we will not do knit and purl we will knit two rows so after I finish this row then I will knit one more row okay so since I am finished with my 15 rows I will start knitting uh, a heel okay to, in order to do that we need to split 24 stitches into two halves so I will need to have 12 stitches on my needle where I will be forming the heel and then six and six stitches on these needles okay so it's kind of easy to knit if you're knitting on circular needles then you just need to put a marker and knit back and forth okay so I will go and move my stitches so here I have eight yes so I still need four more stitches over here on this needle there are not enough stitches on this needle so I'll just move them from this needle okay so I need to move two so I have six stitches here six stitches here and 12 stitches here and I will be working now only on this needle not on these two needles okay so what I will do is I will knit all the way to this end except except our last stitch so we will knit 11 stitches knit 11 stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay now we will leave this stitch on this needle we will turn around and we will we will slip this last knitted stitch over here on this needle okay and we will purl all the way to the this last stitch and we will not purl this last stitch so it means we will purl this is gonna be our one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so nine stitches so one two three four five six seven eight nine okay now we will turn around again and we have one stitch over here we will slip this stitch curl wise okay and we will not knit these last two stitches so we need to knit one two three four five six seven eight okay so we will knit eight stitches one two three four five six seven eight okay now we will turn around And we will again slip this stitch and knit until last two stitches so one two three four five six seven okay seven stitches and we have two left 
over here on this side now. We turn around. We will do this again. We will slip one stitch and now we will knit until we have three, three stitches left. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now we will turn around. We will slip this stitch and we will purl to, till we have three stitches left over here. Okay, so this is going to be our one purl. One, two, three, four, and one more. Five. Okay. So now we have three stitches and three stitches in here one more time. Okay. So we will slip this stitch and we will knit until we have one, two, three, four. So we will knit four stitches. One, two, three, four. We will turn. We have to do this one more time. On this side we have to have four stitches now. Okay, so we will slip this stitch and we will purl three stitches. One, two, three. And we have four, you see? Okay, now we will, we have to go and slip this stitch, but let me go and explain something to you now. So now we will start adding the stitches, these stitches, okay? So we need to add this fourth, one, two, three, fourth stitch, fourth from this side, okay? We need to add it back to, because we didn't knit this one last time, so we will need, need to knit it again, okay? And then we will add this one. And then when we then we add on the way back this one. Okay, so we're just adding stitches back now. Okay, so we will slip this stitch and knit one, two, three. Okay, we have those four stitches which we need to go and add this one. And look how big gap we have in here. So what I usually do is I uh, I just pick one stitch. Okay, I pick this stitch right below the last one here. I go and I pick it and I add it to that fourth stitch to close the gap. And we will knit this stitch. Okay, now we will turn around. We will, we will slip it and we will purl stitches. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we have those four stitches in here left, right? And we need to add this one. So again, I will pick one stitch in here. Okay, one bump. You see this bump over here? I will pick it up and I will purl these two together. Okay. Now we will turn around, we will slip this stitch, okay, okay, and now what we need to do is we need to knit all the way to here and add our third stitch, okay, so we will knit all the way to the big gap, see, now look how big gap we have in here. So what we will do is we will pick, pick a stitch over here, okay, and we will knit that third stitch from that side, we'll just knit it together, okay, and we will turn it out. Now we have two left in here, but we still have three over here, right? So we will turn it out and again we will slip this stitch, 
okay? And we will purl all the way to the big gap before the third stitch that we need to add. You see, this is gonna be our big, huge gap. This is our gap, and look, we have three stitches. We need to add this third stitch. We will pick up one of these bumps, purl, purl this, okay. Turn around, slip, and we will go and add this second one, okay? So we will knit all the way to the big gap, big gap, knit all the way to the big gap, one more, pick up that one, okay, we pick it up, we knit them together, and we have one left here. We still have two left over here on this side, so we need to do the same thing. So we will go and slip this stitch and now we just go and purl to the big gap again. That means uh, to the uh, right before two stitches at the end. Okay, we will purl all these stitches. Look how nicely it's coming out. You see, I have two stitches, so I still have to go and pick up my bump and purl. Okay, and we still have to add this one on the way back. So we have to do it, we have to add this one and then this one, okay? So we turn it around. Slip the stitch, knit all the way to the big gap, all the way to the big gap, look at that, okay, we have big gap, now we will go and pick up that uh, stitch and knit this and we uh, added all the stitches on this side. We still have to add one more stitch on this side. So let's go back. So again, we will slip this stitch, okay? And then we will purl all the way to that one stitch. This is the easiest way to make your heel. That's what my mom taught me. And we need to pick up the bump. This one, this bump. Okay, so I picked up the bump and I purl it, purl both stitches together. Okay, and we added all our stitches. Now we should have 12 stitches back on my needle. So now what I will do is I will knit all these stitches and I will have a gap in here, so I will pick up one of these stitches. I'll show it to you. Hold on one second. Let's go and do that, okay? And then I'll do the same thing. I will have a gap in here, so I will have to go and pick up a stitch there. So we will just slip this stitch right now, okay? We're not going to knit it. And because it, we knitted it on the way back when we were purling, okay? And now we will knit all these stitches. We will knit all 11 st uh, um, remaining stitches. Okay, we'll knit this one. And now, since we have a big gap over here and we don't want it, so I will pick this stitch right here. Okay, and I will, let me see, this stitch. We'll pick this stitch and we will knit that stitch, those two stitches together, okay? Let me push this. 
Okay. Now we will knit all these stitches all the way to the end, to the last one. And let me see. Yes, I will probably. Yeah. Let me see how we're going to do it. Sometimes I forget and I have to refresh my memory if I don't do my um, socks for a while. Okay, so I knitted this one. So we will now pick a stitch. We can pick this stitch right here. Look one more time, okay? This one. We'll pick it, put it in there, and we will knit these two together now. And we will close the gap. Okay. Okay. So, and now we're starting basically the foot. So now we have the heel right here. Look. Okay. And right now we will go and hold on one second. We will create. We will create a foot going this way, and then we will finish with a tip. Okay. So now what I will do is I will knit as many rows as I need to all the way to my little toe, okay? And when I am um, finished with that, uh, I will show you how I will decrease or, yeah, yes, decrease for uh, our toe area, okay? So you also knit all the way to your pinky. And if you have a long feet uh, and you don't have enough yarn, you can go and combine the toe area with a different color of the yarn, okay? But I know that my, uh, my skein is going to last for, you know, it's going to be enough for both socks. I've done these socks for me already uh, once, so I know it's going to be enough, okay? As you see, I knitted 22 rows, okay? And um, that is actually reaching to my uh, little toe. And now I am ready to start decreasing for the toe. And this is how we will do it. We will knit these first two stitches together, okay? Then I will knit to the last two stitches on this needle, which is, uh, let me see, so I knitted these two together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we will knit eight stitches. Eight stitches. And now we will slip knit twice, slip knit twice, okay, and then knit through the back loop, knit through the back loop. Okay, now we will do the same thing over here, except we will first do it on this needle, we will do knit two together, then we will knit eight stitches, Okay, and on this needle we will slip, slip, knit last two stitches. Okay, so knit two stitches together. So knit these two stitches together. Okay, now knit eight stitches. Four more stitches. Okay, and now we will slip, slip, and knit through the back loop. Okay. Now we will, we will knit one row. Now we will repeat our decreases again, okay? We will knit two stitches together. 
Oops, I'm losing them. One more time. Knit them together. Okay. Now we will knit six stitches. Five and six. And we will slip, 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 slip. Slip knit twice, right? And then knit through the back loop. Let's go and do it English style, okay? So we will knit two together. Now we will knit six stitches. getting tangled over here. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's three more stitches we need to knit. All these needles <laughs> poking everywhere. <laughs> okay, and now I need to slip knit twice, slip knit twice, insert this, this needle back in and knit through the back loop. Okay, Okay, and now we will just knit entire row again. <laughs> okay, you see how much easier it is really to knit continental style. You don't have those needles all over the place. Uh, or you, you basically knit with a... Um, with circular needles, right? Okay, back to my, back to my continental style. <laughs> okay, we will decrease one more time. Okay, so we will knit two stitches together. Knit four stitches, slip knit twice, slip knit twice, knit through the back loop. Knit two together. Okay, knit four stitches. Slip, slip, knit them together through the back loop. Okay, and so now what we need to do is we will put these three stitches from this needle onto this needle, and we will do a kitchener stitch. And it's only six stitches on each needle to do kitchener stitch, okay? So it's not really that much. So what I usually do is uh, I usually do like four lengths of this. So this is one, two, three, four, about four lengths, a little longer. Okay. And I will cut or cut my yarn. So I do kitchen stitch this way. I know that I have to always start with this one with um going purl wise okay go purl wise here and then i go knit wise here and then i have to go knit wise here and purl wise here okay so remember purl wise always the first stitch in the front under under these two needles knit wise in the back needle knit twice okay and we don't take them the first stitches we don't take them down just yet now we have to go back to them and do this one knit twice take it down and purl wise 
on the front. Okay. Now we need to do this one furl wise, furl wise, and knit wise. Knit wise stays in the back. Okay. So we took down the purl wise. And again, we need to do knit wise, take it down, and purl wise. And now we have to do purl wise, take the purl wise down, and knit wise. And that, wise, that one stays. Okay. And again, knit wise down purl wise stays now purl wise take it down and knit wise in the back and that stays now we need to do again knit wise and purl wise purl wise and knit wise. Knit wise and purl wise. Purl wise and knit wise. And the last one, this finishes with knit wise and this finishes with purl wise. Okay, and we're done. Now we just need to go and uh, weave in our ends. And we are having a nice fat sock for size seven and a half. Okay, seven, seven, seven and a half. And it probably can even stretch to eight, eight and a half. Okay. If you so want. now I just will um, weave in my ends. So here we are, finished with our sock. Now all you need to do is make your second pair. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much for making this world a much better place. Thank you for sharing my videos, commenting, and I will see you another time.